the truth is that you all judge each other. Knowingly or unknowingly, you do. You judge. Right? How many would agree with that? Loud. Yes? Okay, we all judge. Do most of us judge kindly? No. Yes, Philippe says yes. <laughs> you do. Some of us do, most of us don't. That, that has nothing to do with the fact whether you're a good person or a bad person. It's just we just do it. Now, wouldn't it be lovely when we do judge if we could just take that judgment and turn it into something positive? So what I'm going to ask you, what? Yes, it would be lovely. And uh, Yes, yes, like Lisa says. One of the things that happens is we judge by our appearance. We judge by who we are. We judge by the essence that comes out. But most of us have not been brought up with parents who hold you in the palm of their hand and say, you are the most beautiful, gorgeous, loving, wonderful human being that God ever created. Most of us haven't been raised like that. Most of us have been raised with detriment and hardship and we have not been seen. We have not been honored. So image therapy is the process of starting the honoring right here. How many of you stand in front of the mirror every morning and say, I honor my spirit, I honor myself, I honor my body, I honor the health that I have. Thank you God for everything that I've been given. It's hard. It's hard to honor ourselves. Most of us in this room have absolutely no problem honoring other people. But when it comes to self, it becomes very difficult. So image therapy is the process of understanding who you are, how do you move about in the world, and what kind of an impact do you have on someone when you walk into a room? And do you have control over that? Yes, loud. Yes. yes, you do. How much control do you have over that? All the control in the world. Now, the question is, do you want to use that card in a positive way? I hope you all do. Because you are your product. You are the person that raises shareholder value. The more you show up, the more authentic you show up in the world, what happens? What happens when you show up authentically? The better the response. Yes. So why would it be that most of us try to hide? Can I have you wrap for a second? Why would we do that? Low self-esteem. Why else? This is a very interactive class. If you, can, if you guys want to, please interact. Peer pressure. Lack of self-esteem. Fear of judgment. So we hide. We hide. I'm sorry? Cold. I'm physically cold? Do I look very inviting? No. This is what most of us do. We cloak ourselves in black and darkness and hide and distance our spirit from the world that's out there. Am I distancing myself now? <laughs> no! So when people say to me, Soliana, what's your job? This is what I do. I start singing. I say, whenever I see someone less fortunate than I, and believe me, there's many less fortunate than I, my tender heart tends to start to bleed. And when someone needs a makeover, I simply have to take over. I know, I know exactly what they need. And even in your case, Though it's the toughest case I've yet to face, <laughs> believe me, I'm determined to succeed. Follow my lead, and yes, indeed, you will.
will be popular. You're going to be popular. <laughs> See, that's my snap. <laughs> you are afraid to snap, you just go, okay, if Liana can sing her snap, I can just say something. Don't be afraid. The truth is that who you are, the essence of who you are, did you just see my essence? Did you just get it? How many of you thought when I was walking out here, you were like going, oh my God, I am never going to talk to her. <laughs> I bet you a lot of you have. And I wish that some of you that are thinking that in the audience would raise your hand. Please raise your hand. Yes, dear. Yes. The lady with the... Why? Yes, would you please get up so we can get you a mic? Thank you. Because I don't want you to tell me or even look at me because you have class and I don't. Can I, would, would you allow me to bring you up there? Oh. You know, everybody says to me, Liana, oh, you've been doing this for 25 years. You're an image consultant. I say, no, I'm not an image consultant. I am an image therapist. You are so beautiful. You're such a gorgeous, beautiful, strikingly regal woman. Would you have a seat here, oh please? <laughs> you know what the most difficult thing is about being present and showing up and being authentic? It's that once the world sees you, and once you allow the world to see you, that you have a huge responsibility that you can't walk back on. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Now tell me exactly how you feel again. I look classy and elegant and all that, and you look like what? Thank you. Can I can yell at you? Yes. And therefore, um, I don't, I don't want to go there. <laughs> you don't want to go there. It's not that, I mean, don't get me wrong, you are classy and elegant, but that wasn't what I was thinking. It wasn't that, oh, she's classy and elegant and I'm not. It was, she's the pro and I'm not. And, I'm, and oh, you know. And I can't talk to, no. <laughs> no, 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 I just don't, I don't, I want to I wanna hear it. You don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear all the things I'm doing wrong. You're not. <laughs> How many of you are afraid that you're going to come up here and I'm going to be really horrible? Oh, I don't mean Raise that. your hand. No, 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 because you know what? Most people are. You're, you're, there's, it's not like you're feeling that, but there's a lot of people sitting in the audience and they're, I can go to the last two rows and I promise you that there's somebody there where I'll go, can I ask you to come up here, please? And they'll go. And they're like shaking because they assume that coming up here is going to be really painful because I'm going to tell them that they're not good enough and that, that they're this and that's wrong and that's this and that's, and it's not because I'll tell you why. My belief system is that you are a masterpiece just the way you are because you are. There is absolutely nothing wrong with anyone in this room. There's only something wrong with the clothes people in the stores are trying to sell you. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with you. You're gorgeous. You're a gorgeous, beautiful, wonderful woman. The l yes, amen, <laughs> say it. And, and I'm not going to do anything to you. I'm not going to put any clothes on you. I'm not going to, but I do want, I want to ask you some questions. May I? Yeah. Okay. Tell me where you grew up. Uh, California, mostly. 
Okay. And tell me about your mom. All right. Did you? Oh, wait. No. Did you hear that? Yeah. Now, when you're doing business, I don't care if you're the CEO, I don't care if you're trying to get money, I don't care if you, whatever it is you're doing, pay attention. In this class, if I don't teach you anything, if I can just get through to you how important it is to pay attention to the person that's in front of you. Listen with your eyes, your ears, your nose, your tactility. Listen with all your senses to who's in front of you because it allows you to see their true essence and their true spirit. So that was a really heavy... Th Tell me about that. Can you, if you can, if you cannot, then... Um, my mom was the first woman to lead Sierra Club backpack trips. And my mom was a ski patrol. And my mom was the toughest, strongest lady you have ever met. And everybody else thought she was funny and interesting, and she embarrassed the heck out of me, mm. which I think is how most people feel about their moms. And right now, my mom is kind of fading away, so that was the solve, because mm. I really miss her. And she's still here, but she's not really here anymore at all. <laughs> for my mom? Is that for my mom? I'm going to give you one for you, and I'm going to give you one for your mom. Oh, good. So... We have nine business cards. On one of the business cards, it says, claim your crown. Image therapy is all about claiming your crown. Knowing who you are, know thyself, know your strengths, know your weaknesses. And some of you are sitting in the back there going, what the hell does any of this have to do with clothes? How many of you are thinking that right now? How many? Tell me the truth. The truth is that if I am to be the conduit between who you are today and who you are to be as the blossom, because right now you're the bud, I need to show you, just like you show yourself every day, that your essence is brilliant. If I don't do that, I can put the most expensive clothes on you and the most beautiful suits and everything can fit really well. But if inside you don't believe it, then I haven't done my job. Does that make sense? So you coming up here and sharing with this whole room that there's something that you think that you're lacking or have less than, that's a huge, huge thing. I bet you there's a lot of people in this room who would never do that because it's very authentic. It's very honest. And the truth is, if you knew what my insides look like, I'm going to tell you what my insides look like. I've been, I've just been going through the hardest six months of my life. My life. Hardest six months of my life. And I have a choice. I'm 50 years old. I have an amazing family. And my choice is I could just sit there and be in self-pity or I can choose to not spit into the face of my creator, but accept the grace and the joy and the gifts that I've been given, look at the pain, deal with it, get through it, and get on with it, right? Isn't that true? Yeah. So comparing that. myself, <laughs> I could start sitting here and comparing myself to all the people that can do math, I can't do math. I could compare myself to all the people that can read out loud. I can't really read out loud. I'm highly dyslexic. Yes, I speak a zillion languages, but reading is hard. The truth is, my father, God bless him, he used to say, compare yourself to yourself. Don't compare yourself to others. You are a gorgeous, beautiful woman, and I would like to, I would like to show you what we do at Image Therapy. So put down your... Put down your microphone and just put that on your lap for a second okay now pretend it, it, your crown is on a golden table right in front of you and what I want you to do is I want you to get up from your throne <coughs> okay gorgeous and have an internal smile on your face 
internal and then external. Beautiful, good. Take the crown, place it firmly on your head. Take off your glasses, you wanna do that? <laughs> firmly, oh. okay. <laughs> Is it too big? <laughs> you take that Okay. Okay. I'm firmly. Okay. And now take a walk of grace up and down and let us see your grace. And and take it in. Take it in. Woo! How does it feel? Oh, great. Does it feel? How does it feel? It's great. Thank you. Oh, my God. Feels good, doesn't it? It does. You know what the, the most difficult part of not showing up is? Or not allowing your essence to shine in brilliance? Is the difficulty is that you have no place to receive. And I say it slowly because I really want you to hear me. Receiving is a huge part of giving. Huge. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I had prepared this talk and then a friend of mine was talking to me about a situation of giving and receiving. And I sat with him and I cried because he didn't know what I was gonna talk about today but he was telling me what he was going through. And I said, that's, exactly what it is. You can't keep giving, 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 giving to the universe and not receiving because it's out of balance. So go out into the world and be brilliant and receive. Will you do that? Wait. Wait. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>